The DNA building's right here, that tall right, one right behind, right behind us. Yeah, back the window. Please, the top floor. As bomb technicians and public safety officials huddled, the streets of downtown Agana were eerily quiet at mid morning. Roads leading away from the intersection of Route 4 and West O'Brien Drive were shut down shortly after 9, following the discovery of a World War II era bomb uncovered by a Sumitomo backhoe operator inside this water-filled square hole at the construction site of the new Nambo Insurance Building, where sand was being poured in today to create a stable platform for the technicians to examine the bomb. Guam Police, Fire and Civil Defense rushed to the scene and set up a perimeter evacuating the courts, the library, Shirley's restaurant and the mobile station next door among other businesses. The Navy's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit was called in. Eric Van Gogh is the EOD chief. No, 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 no. no. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It was, uh, we're not going to detonate the place. I don't know if you guys uh, remember the bomb we hit on the gym. Yeah. yeah we're actually going to do the same procedure. We're going to remove the fuse from the um, bomb as it where it sits. We just have to roll it real carefully to get it to the place where we put the tool on it, and then we're going to take the fuse right off. Van Gogh described the bomb as a four-foot-long, 350-pound depth bomb designed for use by a ship at sea and a bomber, which apparently dropped this dud on Guam nearly 66 years ago. It's about 11 a.m. in the morning now, and the hole in which the device was uncovered is filled with some water and mud, and authorities say they want to drain that water out first so that EOD can evaluate the device and determine how best to safely remove it. How dangerous is it? Um, it's live. Uh, you know, it's, there's still explosives in it. We find these um, year-round. Uh, it's still very dangerous. Is it a 350-pound um, depth? It, it is a little confusing when you say it, but it is. It's 350-pound depth bomb. Uh, depth mean, charge? Submarine? It's not a depth charge, but it works on a similar principle. Uh, the tail fuse is hydrostatic pressure. So you can use this on land via the nose fuse or in the water via the tail fuse. So it had dual purpose. World War II? World War II. Probably dropped from a plane? It was dropped from a plane. However, EOD decided as a precaution to expand the safety zone to 2,500 feet, pushing the perimeter out to Route 8 and back to San Ramon Hill along West O'Brien Drive, north to Marine Corps Drive, and back up Route 4 to McDonald's. A mandatory evacuation was ordered for all buildings in the area, including the Agania Shopping Center, the Bank of Guam, and the DNA Building. Five levels. The back of Guam building right here, right behind this. Yeah. That, that entire building. Okay. What did they tell you? Oh, that we're evacuating the building. Did they tell you what the danger was? Um, they found a bomb uh, across the street from Mobile. Are you concerned? Um, sort of. As Guam Fire and police shut down the roads and evacuated the surrounding buildings, Van Gogh and his team waited for clearance from the FAA. The bomb under the flight path could not be diffused unless the airspace above was clear. What happens if it does explode? Um, well, we're, that's what we're doing all this for, evacuations, making sure everything's taken care of. We're going to move it, put it in a place where we control the blast and the fragmentation. Is and it mandatory evacuation? Mandatory. You ha I mean, you have to leave. Uh, it's a bank of Guam building? Basically, yes. I'm not going to do any procedures until everyone's out, basically. Is this mandatory or voluntary? This is actually mandatory for government, Guam, government of Guam agencies like the library and the court, but also extremely recommended and um, voluntary for all private businesses and organizations such as Community First Bank, the DNA Building, and all these other surrounding vendors that Bank are here. Of Guam. Bank of Guam. A first attempt to pull the fuse failed, but a second attempt after the bomb was rolled over was successful. The fuse was pulled without incident about 2.20 this afternoon, and the streets and businesses in downtown Agana soon returned to normal. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.